Hi, I'm Grace and I'm from Ipswich, Australia. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the International Disney College Program. So it's basically the same as the college program that's offered in the States, that's so with Disney. And it's just for everyone around the world that's studying in a tertiary education system. You have to be full time on campus and I think you have to have finished your first semester or at least your first year of university or TAFE and um, then you can apply. Um, I applied in December last year, so December 2013 and um, I probably should have applied a little bit earlier or a little bit later so I didn't have to wait as long but um, I waited for months and months and months and then I finally got an email saying that I was going to be interviewed and I was really excited about that but I'll talk to you a little bit more about the application process first so basically you need to go and follow a link I'll put it down below for you guys um, you just need to follow the link and then you'll find a web page that will come up and it will have International Disney College Program it's like internships or something as well and if you follow that one, find the right one for your country. I think for Australia and New Zealand it's the J1, like it says J1 on the piece of, like the link that you click to fill out the form. And I'd have an updated resume ready because I put my resume into the file as well and submitted it with my like form and just has questions like your past job experience, do you have any tattoos, do you have extra piercings, just basic things like that. They just want to find out who you are as a person so that they can like look at it later and find out whether or not you are ready for an interview or if you can actually apply for the program. Maybe you aren't at the right like tertiary education so you might not be able to. Um, but yeah, so then I got my interview email from Disney after months and months of waiting. That came um, in March. And um, I had about 30 days until my interview, which was going to be at the University of Queensland, which is quite a big university in the middle of Brisbane here in Queensland. And um, so I went along to that and there's a two hour presentation first, which is really good. They just tell you everything that you should expect from the program and what you're going to be required to do as a cast member. And then you go in and you have your personal interview with like one on one. So I had my interview with Jill, I think it lasted like just over 15 minutes, it was really great. Um, I walked in and she had the biggest smile on her face, she just made me feel so welcome. And so I couldn't help but smile either and we, we talked about the weather a little bit, we just compared it to Florida. She was saying that it's quite similar to what Florida's weather's like and she was like it's probably the only place that she's been that is that similar. So yeah, Brisbane is quite warm up here, where the sunshine stayed. And um, yeah, it was really exciting, it was like comfortable chat sort of thing. I think they just wanted to know that you could hold a conversation properly and you could answer their questions. Um, I got asked about tattoos and piercings again and then she started focusing on lifeguarding because she looked at my resume and said, you work with children and so you know you have your CPR training and your first aid and I was like, yes I do. So um, I think from then I knew that if I did get an acceptance I probably would be accepted for lifeguarding which didn't bother me because I get to be outside in the sun and I get to see a different part of um, the park, like you know the different parks that aren't open all the time. So Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon aren't open as much and I might get to see some more of the resorts as well because I can work at the pools at the resorts. So that was really exciting. And then sure enough um, I got my email just, just under a month after my interview. I got my email that said I was accepted and that I was accepted for lifeguarding. Um, it said that my arrival date was going to be the 5th of August, so that's my check-in date, and that my departure date or my end date from the program is the 23rd of January. So I was very excited and then I saw my pay rate though, which is like only $7.92, but that's fairly standard I think for the states. Their pay is a little different than Australia, cost of living is a little bit different over there as well. But I'm still excited and... Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to keep you guys updated with what's going on and I'll put another vlog up. Cheers!